In this video, I'm going to just show you how to take a plain t-shirt and create it into a work of art with just a little bit of paint. Now what I've done is I've gotten my t-shirt. It's just a plain white t-shirt. It's 100% pre-shrunk cotton. You don't want to get um, a, a cotton that's not pre-shrunk unless, of course, you pre-wash it. In any event, you want to get some wax paper, like I have here, and slip it in between your t-shirt so that you don't destroy the back. You don't want your paint to go to the back of the shirt because the paint also acts as a glue and it would stick your shirt front and back to each other. I'm not going to try and flatten it all out. I don't mind having ridges in my dimensional paint. But I must press the majority of this paint in to the fibers. That's the only way the paint becomes permanent. So I'm adding my orange. Just gonna, gonna make some circles out of these. This is not a standard orange. What I did with this was I got low on my orange so I added some red to my base and I created this corally looking color. I thought it was a it was cute, it was a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna move this around for me. I'm gonna just move it in bigger circles. because I'm just trying to create impact and texture. I'm not really trying to get deep and fancy. And if you want it to be precise, then by all means you can draw it out. It's not really my style. There. And add some more pink. This time I'm just going to dot my pink to frame this. Just dotting it and I'm pressing it into the surface. because I want the paint to marry into my fibers. I'm just creating a series of shapes. You know, it's been a rare, it's really been a rare occasion when I didn't put gold in something that I was designing for myself. I always find gold to be um, a color that adds life and a color that I usually gravitate towards because I usually wear more gold jewelry than anything else. So. If you want to go with gold or if you want to go with the coppers, think about what you're going to be coordinating your outfit with. Are you going to be wearing copper, gold, silver, black? You know, go from, take it from that, that aspect. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more. I'm just going to, I'm getting bold here. I'm adding a totally different different contrasting color in my green and the more colors you add you have to be careful you don't want it to be too bu busy but just think of it this way when you add colors you are really making it more flexible your wardrobe more flexible because now you can wear this 
with a variety of colors, any one of these colors, including, of course, your blue jeans. Now back up here, under this other bronzy copper paint. You know, I'm having fun, but you know what? I am going to stop. I'm going to stop in a minute. there. Now there's one other thing that you always want to do with your artwork, your t-shirt, your purse, whatever it is you're painting, and that's to sign it. So you find a nice little spot on your artwork where you want to feature your signature, and you put it there. Press it in. Use a, use a tip. Preferably a fine tip like this one would do better but ensure that you press it in as you paint now I'm gonna let this dry I am not promising you that this is over yet but I am promising you that we're gonna come back and see what it looks like when it is finished okay our t-shirt is drying nicely I think it came up pretty good I'm not going to add anything. We can go on and on and on adding things to our t-shirt designs or any design. But I think I'm going to settle here and I'm going to take a picture of it when it's dried and let you see it. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you on the next video.